Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy. Today, we'll be diving into a powerful feature in Salesforce, opportunities in the Kanban view. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest Salesforce tutorials. Now, let's jump right in. The Opportunity Kanban is a visual way to track your sales deals in Salesforce. It lets you see all your opportunities in one place, giving your sales reps the tools they need to push deals forward, while managers can monitor the pipeline with ease. Think of it like a digital board where you can move deals through different stages, just like you would move sticky notes from one column to another. But what makes the Kanban view so special is the ability to customize it, making it work exactly how you need it to. First up, let's learn how to customize your Kanban view. Ready to follow along? Let's open the Opportunities tab in Salesforce. Launch your Salesforce Trailhead Playground to follow along. In this challenge, you'll practice changing the Kanban view customizing the fields on your cards, adding a filter, and even creating your own chart. To begin, navigate to the pick list and select my opportunities to hone in on your active deals. Next, click on the display options button and select Kanban. This will transform your view into a vibrant visual representation of all the opportunities currently in motion. As you explore this dynamic layout, you may encounter various record types, such as B2B opportunities or uncategorized deals. For today's session, let's focus exclusively on the uncategorized category to keep things straightforward and clear. Next, let's customize the fields that appear on each opportunity card. To do this, click the List View Controls button and select Select Fields to display. Here's where you get to choose what information is shown Use the arrows to add or remove fields until you have the following visible. Opportunity name, amount, expected revenue, and owner full name. Make sure they're in the right order, then hit save. Now, your opportunity cards are tailored to show just the key information your sales reps need at a glance. Let's say you only want to see opportunities that have a probability of 20% or higher. We can easily add a filter to show just that. Click the filter button, then add filter. Set the field to probability, parse percent, the operator to greater or equal, and the value to 20. Click done and then hit save. Now, your view is filtered to show only the opportunities that have a higher chance of closing. What if you want to visualize your opportunities even further? Easy we can add a customized chart to the Kanban view. Click the chart button and select pipeline by stage. For a clear breakdown, choose the vertical bar chart from the chart settings. Now, you have a quick snapshot of how your deals are distributed across the different stages. One of the most useful features in the Kanban view is being able to move opportunities between stages just by dragging and dropping. Let's try that now. Take the United Oil Plant Standby Generators opportunity and drag it from Needs Analysis to Value Proposition. Notice how the totals at the top of each column update instantly. That's the power of the Kanban view, real-time updates with just a simple drag and drop. Congratulations. You have now mastered working with opportunities in the Salesforce Kanban view. From customizing your cards to filtering your view and even adding charts, you now have everything you need to keep your pipeline organized and moving smoothly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Make sure you subscribe to the Declarative Academy, TDA, for more Salesforce tips and tutorials. And hey, if you have any questions or tips of your own, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.